Hello everyone, Rad Lad here, and I have discovered a crime against humanity that Mario Kart 8 has committed. What is this atrocity, you ask? THIS! You might be asking yourself, what's the issue? Looks fine to me. But take a closer look at the character renders behind the amiibo costumes. Then you'll realize the horrible crime the game developers have committed. These renders make no sense in why a specific one was chosen. Some of these are over 10 years old, and the ones chosen clash incredibly with vastly different art styles. Where's the consistency? That's not even the end of it! There's even more issues to it! So I'm going to take a look at each render and tell you where it's from and why some of them don't work. Before we look at the renders themselves, however, we should probably address the other glaring issues with this screen. For one, these characters aren't ordered in any logical way. Not by series, not by if they're a playable character in the game, not by the release date of their series in general, nothing at all. Like, who said, yeah, this is fine, who needs order logic anyway? <laughs> Another issue in this screen is Olimar is labeled as Pikmin for some reason. Inklings and the Villager have the same issue in being named after their series, but at least their me costume suits don't really look like the character featured in the render, so I'll give that a pass. But the me suit for Olimar is very clearly based off Olimar's suit. It's not a Pikmin generic suit, so why they decided to label him as Pikmin is simply stupid. For a little bit of context, the Wii version of Mario Kart 8 came out in May 29, 2014 in the US. However, Amiibo support didn't arrive until November, and obviously the screen itself didn't exist until then. So any of the renders, pretty, any of the renders chosen, pretty much have up to 2014 to choose from. So, did they choose the most recent game, like you would think? No, not really. That'd make too much sense. For Mario, you'd think they'd pull the render from the most recent major Mario game, Super Mario 3D World, which came out a year before. Yet not a single Mario character in Mario Kart 8 is seen using a render from that game. For some reason, they thought it'd be a good idea to pull it from the 2011 Wii title, Fortune Street, a game developed by Square Enix. Don't know why they did that, but they did. <sighs> in addition, no other Mario characters are pulled from this game, which makes it even more bizarre. I just do all from one, that would make sense. I mean, keep consistency, but apparently they wanted to go against that. Of any Mario characters, Luigi's render makes the most sense. It came from 2013 3DS game Mario Party Island Tour. So, you know what? That's good. That game features high quality renders of the characters, so... Makes sense why they chose Luigi from that game. Again, it probably would have made more sense to do 3D World, but you know what? Whatever. What makes it even worse is that Luigi is the only person chosen from this game. Why not do all the other Mario characters from Island Tour? That would have made sense. They're already high quality renders. Why just Luigi? Who knows? Beach's render is chosen from the 2009 game New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Numerous Mario games featuring better Peach renders came out after this game, but yet they still pulled the render from this game. No idea why. Makes me mad. Yoshi's render was chosen from Mario Party 8, which released on the Wii in 2007. But considering Mario Party 9 and Island Tour came out after this one, you wonder why they didn't just pull the, the higher quality renders from those games. You already used Island Tour for Luigi, so why use a render from Mario Party that was 5 years old at that point? Probably just to spite me. For the leader of the bunch, his render came from the 2009 game Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. I don't really have a problem with this render. They probably could have used it from his own games like Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze, but this render is high enough quality and it works. So honestly, good on you amiibo person. You did something well. Probably the only thing you'll do well, because you're a failure in every other regard. Link makes me very mad. Came from the 2011 game Zelda Skyward Sword, which makes sense since it was obviously the most recent 3D Zelda. But why they opted for 2D artwork is the dumbest thing. It completely clashes with every other character who is represented with a 3D render. I mean, to be fair, there weren't any great 3D renders from Skyward Sword, but they still could have made an effort to not make it look so incredibly out of place. Hell, just use the stupid render from Mario Kart 8. That would have made perfect sense, as well as for every other character that is in Mario Kart 8. But no, they didn't do that. They decided, let's make this look like absolute crap. Gavin Falcon's render is really weird. 
Obviously, F-Zero hadn't had any new games in a decade, so they used a modified version of his Smash 4 render. Odd, but works well enough. I mean, what else would they have pulled from? Kirby's render comes from the 2011 Wii game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. There's not really that much wrong with this render, although you wonder why they didn't just take it from the most recent Kirby game being Kirby Triple Deluxe for the 3DS that came out in January of 2014 anyway. But, you know, that would make too much sense. Oh, Samus. Oh, I have a lot to say about this one. This is by far the most offensive one out of any of these renders. This one came from the 2002 game Metroid Prime. Not only were there four other 3D Metroids that came after Prime 1, the renders were of far higher quality, and with the surprising amount of characters with modified Smash renders, it's surprising that they didn't just use the other M render, since it was the most recent game at the time, and that was also what they used for her Smash 4 design. But no! They just decided to be stupid and use the worst render ever! That stupid outdated 2002 render is also used for other Nintendo crap. I'm like, why? That's not even the most recent design. Stop using it. It's so annoying. <laughs> fox? More like fox. <laughs> Alright, no, but actually, like Captain Falcon, Fox's render is also a modified version of his Smash 4 one. The only other game they really could have pulled his model from is the 2011 3DS game, Star Fox 64 3D, but the render in that game wasn't really that good. So, I mean, again, kind of like F-Zero, there's not really anything else that would have been great for it, so I have no real problem with this one. Like Peach, Toad's render is also pulled from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Again, why didn't they just use a slightly more recent render, but you know what, at least it's not a Mario render from yet another different game. So at least there's some consistency. Not a lot of it, but hey, some of it is definitely appreciated. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bowser's is also from New Super Mario Bros. Wii? Holy crap, they're using three renders from the same game. But at that point, you might as well just use all of the Mario characters' renders from that game. At least the ones that are in it. Why just using three? What, you don't want to use Mario Luigi's render? Yeah, just take them from a different game. Yeah, it'll look great. It won't clash at all with these older renders. It's so stupid, honestly. Why? Why are you using the Wii ones? The Wii ones! Use the ones from the Wii U. They're newer. They work better. Stop using these outdated ones. They don't make sense. Wario's render is from the 2015 game Mario Party 10. Wario's Amiibo wasn't actually created until May 29th, 2015, therefore he and other characters in the Amiibo screen weren't added until later updates. You know what though, they did it! They finally took a render of a character from a recent game! Who could have seen that coming? As we established before, since the person who created this screen has a complete vendetta against 3D World, Mario Kart Wii's render was chosen for Rosalina, which came out in April 2008. Honestly, I don't really have a huge problem with this one compared to some of the other ones. Mario Kart Wii was the most recent render, not counting 3D World or Mario Kart 8, but really weird how you use 3D World, because Mario Kart Wii's render, again, since it's from a Wii game, is pretty outdated compared to some of the more newer ones, so, eh, whatever. Olimar received the same treatment that Captain Falcon and Fox got. Although Pikmin 3 did come out a year earlier, Olimar obviously wasn't a very big character in it, so he didn't receive any new high-quality render. So, yeah, makes sense why he got a Smash 4 modified render. Makes sense. No problems with this one. Villager's render comes from the 2012 3DS game Animal Crossing New Leaf. New Leaf was the most recent game, therefore no real problems with this one. Mega Man has the exact same problem as Link. His artwork used for Mega Man 9, which came out in 2008, obviously clashes with all of the other characters having 3D renders. Now, at least for Mega Man, there's no real recent 3D render of him at the time. But at that point, they could have just taken the Captain Falcon route and just use a modified Smash 4 model to make it look somewhat presentable. But, you know, that would take too much work, apparently, so why do that? It's fucking Pac-Man. Like, honestly. It's just from the, the suits from the arcade game. 
What else are they gonna pick? If they chose anything else, it'd be stupid. Sonic's render is pulled from the 2010 game Sonic 4 Episode 1. Why they took it from this game that literally nobody likes, that wasn't even on a Nintendo console, and far better renders already existed with Colors, Generations, and Lost World, you really have to stop and think about how little sense it made to go with this particular render. The Inkling Me costume wasn't added until the 2017 Switch version, and obviously since Splatoon 2 wasn't out at that point, there's literally no other game they could have chosen a render for for the Inkling, so yeah, they just chose it from the original Splatoon. What else would they have done? Well, there you have it. Now you can see just how stupidly inconsistent the renders for this one screen are. Obviously, I greatly exaggerate how bad it actually was, but it's still weird how Nintendo didn't take the time to put better renders to give the screen more polish. This is surprising because Mario Kart 8 is a game that screams polish. Like, why do they have to use three separate Mario Party games for certain characters? Why not choose a different game that has decent renders for all of them? Or at least a large amount of the characters. They could have also just taken the Mario Kart 8 renders for all the playable characters and modified Smash renders for the rest so that every render was pretty much brand new. Regardless, you'll probably never unsee any of the things mentioned in the Amiibo screen the next time you look at it. Anyway, have yourself a beautiful day, and I'll probably make another video eventually. Probably. Who knows.